Good morning, my dear viewers. A very happy Sunday morning to you all. We are again here with you with another live talk of Global Education Training Institute, hashtag disruptive education. We started this hashtag disruptive education movement one year ago solely with the aim to disrupt education and provide platform to the entrepreneurs, innovators, and other people in the field of education and innovation to come to our platform and discuss their ideas and provide knowledge to the education fraternity. So with this aim, we have till now hosted around uh, 1,000 talks. And uh, uh, this, is, this has all happened with the uh, uh, bright vision of our uh, director, Dr. Sunita Gandhi. So uh, she uh, she's a brilliant lady and she has been doing this just to provide and disrupt education and provide platform to other individuals and come and share their ideas. So today we have a very special guest with us, Professor Mossam Sinha. Professor, Dr. Mossam Sinha is a teacher, he's a professor, he's a teacher trainer, he's a corporate trainer, trainer for teachers and principals, CBSC, Export Promotion Council of Handicraft Trainer, and so on. He's a police trainer, uh, he's a trainer at Police Tra Training Academy, he is a trainer at Railway Academy, and he is a all, uh, all he is a trainer at All India Management Organization and trainer for teachers and principal Navodaya Vidyalaya. He is a visiting professor of Columbia University, USA, University of Je Jerusalem, Chennai Venkateshwar University, Gajrola Singhania University, and Jaipur. Mo uh, and he is also a visiting professor at Muhammad Ali Johar University. Rampur and many more. He is an A plus artist with All India Radio and TV presenter at Nafte Channel and Prime News Channel. He is an editor of 10 international journals and international poet of English and Hindi. He has to his credit three poetry volumes of English poetry and one of Hindi poetry. Two scholars are doing research on him as an English poet. Five scholars have completed their PhD under him and uh, his able guidance. He has translated four English poetry collections into Hindi and two Hindi poetry collections into English. He's a columnist for two Hindi newspapers. He's a reviewer of Tata Magra Hills, DPS Publication House and Himalaya Publication News. He is an acclaimed international writer having 30 books authored covering the themes of management studies, English, employability skills, and economics. He is a recipient of 15 awards, including Best Citizen of India Award, Dove of Peace Award, Best Professor Award, Distinguished International Writer Award, Editor Choice Award, Lifetime Achievement Award, Dr. Kalam International Educator Award, Innovative Teacher Trainer Award, Innovative Professor Award, etc. He is a fellow to seven international organizations and he has two international patents to his name. So uh, without wasting any more time, and I would like, I'm like eagerly waiting to listen from our dear speaker. Over to you, sir. Today, um, uh, Masam sir will be speaking on stress management. And I forgot to tell you, he is also a very good Urdu poet. So he is having command on all the three languages. I'm excited to hear from you, sir. Over to you. Thank you very much. Namaskar to all and uh, thank you very much Dr. Zainab and thank you to Gandhi ma'am also for giving me this platform to express myself and this topic is of huge importance. You see nowadays people are struggling a lot. They wish to know about you know how to cope up with this stressful situation and uh, under this uh, complex situation you people need to do various things. From my end, I would like to give you some suggestions. I would like to give you some of my inputs for handling stressful situations. Dear friends, first of all, you need to know the difference between stress and pressure. There are various people who, you know, say like that pressure and stress are the same, but they are not the same. They are different. Stress is altogether different from pressure. What is pressure? You see, pressure is something positive positive stress is nothing else but pressure stress on the other hand when we talk about as we talk about the negativity of it 
let me give you an example here if your boss your reporting officer happens to give you some work and uh, he or she fixes some deadline for that he or she asks you to complete it within two days or so and uh, you know you think of doing it but the moment you receive the work you start you know uh, making the layers of some negative thoughts in your mind you feel like if i don't do it what will happen if i am unable to do this work my boss might rebuke me my boss might terminate me there are so many negative thoughts coming in your mind and the moment negative thoughts come in your mind stress is created from there stress is created doing some work meeting deadline is special until and unless you meet deadlines you cannot become successful you can become successful only when you keep working you keep meeting deadlines so that's not a problem meeting deadlines is not a problem but creating negative thoughts that is the situation in your life how to handle that first of all you people should think analyze interpret these stressful situations stress is nobody's nobody's own individual thing rather i must say it is somewhere individual somewhere not let me give you an example you must have heard the name of arunima sinha arunima sinha climbed the mount everest without legs it means she handled the stressful situation by herself this example proves that stress is our own creation we create a stress stress is not given to us by outside nobody can make us stressful we ourselves make us stressful it is our own creation but when i say sometimes it is not individualized i'm trying to say is we people think like that x situation is there which is making us stressful right yes situation is there yes that situation is pathetic that situation is not favorable but how we marshal our resources how we apply our brain to handle that it's up to us it is your choice whether you want to be mentally strong or strongly mental it is your choice whether you want to have endless hope or hopeless end i can go on quoting various examples of handling these stressful situations very well when we talk about japan japan is the only nation where you will see the geographical condition is very very pathetic but see how japan is technically advanced a nation who's been uh, a nation that has been doing fabulous job in the field of technicalities technically it is the most advanced nation of the world with worst situations geographically in india if you talk about bihar bihar is considered to be the most illiterate state of india but most of the is officers come from there this shows that stress is our own creation our national flag blooms in mud it shows that stress is our creation stress is our creation but how to handle it you cannot avoid stressful situations from your life life is full of problems but how to handle those problems that's up to you you can reduce the level of stress but you cannot 
say that I am completely stress free. I cannot make you completely stress free. But by following what I say, you can reduce the level of stress from your life. First of all, stress management is not a stress management, it is life management. If your life is managed well, you will automatically be getting away from stressful situations. What to do? First of all, the very first thing is you should try to identify the reasons stress comes in your life. There are big stressful situations and there are small stressful situations. I would call them unnecessary stressful situations. There are certain unnecessary stressful situations in our life. You are on the road, there is traffic jam and you become stressful. It's unnecessary. Somebody says something to you, you become stressful. It is unnecessary. Your boss scolds you, you become stressful. You do not look at those situations where your boss appreciated you in the past. You just observe that situation, just one situation where your boss happens to rebuke. And you neglect all good things from your life. It is unnecessary stress. So first of all, avoid unnecessary stress from life. Make a list. Make a list of those situations where you become stressful without any reason. And try to work on those stressful situations. How? Let me tell you that. What we say more? Yes or no? It is the habit of the people to say yes more than no. Why? Because we have to please people. My boss should not mind. My mother should not mind. My brother should not mind. That's why we say yes. We say yes. People happy. But think about the aftermath, the result of saying yes when you want to say no. You want to say no, but you say yes. What is the result of that? Your boss happens to give you some work, he gives you some work, and he says you have to finish it in three days' time. You say, Yes, sir, I will do it. You have no confidence, you don't know how to do it. You have no idea about that work, but you say yes because you have to please your boss. And what happens after three days? You are unable to complete it. You are unable to do that work. And then your boss creates some perceptional layers, wrong perceptional layers about you. Had you said no there, you would have avoided this pathetic situation, this complex situation. If it is no, it's no. If it is yes, it's yes. That's a different thing that you should know the art of saying no. Because sometimes your no can create more problems for you. No means what? No has got two meanings. One, when you say no, Perhaps you are trying to say, I cannot do it. Or you are trying to say, I don't want to do it. It has got two meanings. I don't want to do it. Do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do it is a skill problem. I don't want to do it is an attitude problem. When you say no to me, I can take any meaning. I can either take, I don't want to do it. Or I cannot do it. You will have to justify your no. You can perhaps say, thank you very much for giving me this work. I really want to do it, but I don't have much knowledge about it. So I need time to research upon it. I need more time. And if you get more time to do it, you can do it. But saying yes is always a problem. So first thing is, always say yes to yes, no to no. And sometimes you should do 
define what your no means. Okay, then avoid stressful people from your life. There are various stressful people before you. There are people who are negative in their attitude. When I say stressful people, meaning the people who always talk negative. They believe in spreading their stress on others. Such people can be avoided by simply doing one thing. What is that? You would wish to talk to me only when you feel like that I appreciate you and you appreciate me. When our feelings match. When our feelings match, then friendship goes on. Friendship goes on when our feelings match, our thoughts match, our ideas match. Why? If I talk on something which you don't like and I do it again and again, what would you do? You would avoid me. This is the best way. This is the best way to avoid such people from life. You talk to them on those things which they don't like. They would avoid you. They would avoid you. You want to avoid them, they would avoid you. But remember, whatever talks you are doing, whatever things you say to them, should not be things like which creates some more problems for you. For example, let me give you an example. Suppose there is a friend of mine, because I have to, you know, have relations with everyone. But I know this friend of mine is uh, negative, so I have to, you know, be his friend with the limits, right? So what he does, whenever he meets me, he starts talking about fight, quarrel and all. Fight. What I do, I observe this thing closely, then I come up with a remedy of it. I meet him and before he says anything, before he says anything, I start saying, saying what, you know, uh, nowadays I am studying a lot and uh, yesterday I went through a beautiful book and this, that. I start talking about those things which he doesn't like. He doesn't like to listen to such things. And I keep doing that one day, then another day, then another day, then, you know, what will happen? And what happened with me? This is the real story. He started making distance with me. Because he thought like that. He never ever allows me to say my things. He says his things only. Maybe he thinks wrong of me. Maybe he says a number of things to me. At least I am able to avoid that person from my life. A good friend is a friend who understands your emotions. If your friend is not understanding your emotions, he or she is not your friend. Then environment. Another thing is environment. You need to check your environment. What kind of environment you have in your life. Your internal environment and your external environment. If you do positive things, the result will be positive. If you do negative things, the result will be negative. So just bear in your mind that you do positive things. Make the environment positive. Right? Prepare to-do list. Every day, you prepare a list. You jot down your works, the works which you have to do. And you can categorize those works uh, under three heads. Most important works, important works, and least important work. It is obvious that you would be doing most important works first. And then important works. And if you get time, then you would be thinking of least important works. That way, you prepare the list and do it. Because if you keep doing your work in time, you will not have stressful situations. Think about the students who do not study regularly. 
when examinations come near, they become stressful. So keep the things in the backend and prepare timelines for those things and follow the timetable. Consistency is very important. If you do your works on a consistent basis, your works will be finished in time and you will not have a stress. Another thing, avoiding unnecessary stress, this part we have covered. Now, another strategy is you alter the situation. What do I mean by altering the situations? I've seen this is my experience. In India, people love to talk on intelligent things. But there are many people in India who are hesitant in expressing their feelings. And that is why there are more heart attack cases in India. Most of the people in India die because of heart attack. The reason is they are unable to express themselves completely. So you should openly express yourself. Don't worry about the result. Just as the intelligent talks you do with comfort, you also express your feelings with comfort feelings. There are certain situations in life which you cannot handle. Such situations should be overlooked. For example, at this point of my life, if I happen to say I want to become a medical doctor, I cannot. And I, if I take this thing in my mind, if I think about this constantly, it will give me pain. There are certain situations which we cannot control. Stop thinking about those situations. There are certain limitations in life. Weaknesses can be converted into strength, but limitations, you cannot convert limitations into strengths. You have to walk in life with those limitations. So don't worry about those situations. There are other situations also in life. We can engage other situations. If you think like that, you have to compromise it somewhere, you do it. What is the harm in doing it? Life is not offering just one or two situations. Life is offering multiple situations, varied situations. There are many situations in life. Uh, certain situations are favorable. Certain situations are unfavorable. You can convert unfavorable situations into favorable situations. But you cannot convert limitations into strength. Try to understand this thing. Manage time better. You must have a good mechanism for managing time. If you do not manage time, time will not manage you. I always say that killing of time is not a murder, it is society. Society. If you are killing time, you are killing yourself. And I don't know how many times we kill ourselves. Managing time is the best way to avoid many stressful situations from life. If we keep doing our work in time, we will not face stressful situations, many, many stressful situations. In life. Third is stress uh, strategy. Third strategy is adapt to stressors. You see, we face many problems. How many times it happens that we are unable to identify the problems? In one session of mine, I ask uh, one teacher, I ask him whether he knows English or not. And that fellow is a Hindi teacher. Hindi teacher. He said it in Hindi, right? Then I spoke some sentence in English and I asked him the meaning of that. He said, he told me the meaning. I said, just now you said, I don't know English, but you were able to translate the sentence. 
privilege. I spoke English sentence and you told me what is the meaning of it. Then he said, sir, uh, I know a little bit of English. I said, earlier on you said, I don't know English. Now you are saying, I know a little bit of English. This example proves that many times we are unable to identify the problem. And that is why we are unable to get the solution of the problem. The problem of problem is problem itself. Problem has got multiple angles. The problem has got various sub-problems. The child is unable to, you know, speak before the public. What is the reason? We think like that the child is hesitant. The child has proper knowledge of language. He can speak. He can speak well. But he has a terror of problem. The problem is something else. And we assess the problem from a different angle. So, identify the problems. Two, get the solution of the problem. Always see the small picture and big picture. You see, sometimes what happens, we see the small picture. We don't see the big picture. Right now, I am addressing you all. If I think like why I am addressing you, what is the advantage of it? Then, I will not get success with that. I need to see the big picture. Always, always check the difference between loss and investment. Sometimes we take loss as investment and investment as loss. Maybe that is not loss, that is investment. Life is investment. See the big picture. Make some standards in life and follow those standards. When you follow those standards, definitely you will achieve a lot in life. Accept the things. Don't try to control the uncontrollable. And forgiveness is a noble virtue. Sometimes because we don't forgive people, we take stress. In saying sorry, there is no problem. Sorry increases the bond of relationship. Because of not saying sorry, we become stressful. I know that sometimes sorry is uh, taken differently. Sometimes sorry is misused. That is there. But sometimes what happens, in fact, most of the times, because of not saying sorry, stress creeps in. So forgive people, forgive yourself, and get on. Express yourself openly. Never feel hesitant in saying your things. When you tell something to somebody, you feel relaxed. You have some problem, you share it. When you share it, you feel relaxed. Maybe that person is not giving you the solution of the problem, but you feel some kind of comfort in yourself when you express it. So do it. Take time to relax. Do meditation. Meditation helps you building sense. You become more and more sensible and intelligent by doing meditation. So meditation is a very good way to relax your mind. Physical exercises you do and this mental exercise meditation also you do so that you can you know relax your mind and when your mind gets relaxation it works faster. It works quicker. Connect with the people. If you have more and more people in your life, you have more and more comfort in your life. You can express, you know, to more people. You can share your problems to more people. And in that case, you will feel like that you have a good amount of people in your life. So you will not feel like uh, I'm alone and uh, I cannot get the solution of my problem. Do some interesting things every day. And humor. Humor. Sense of humor. Sense of humor relaxes you.
set some targets in your life, some goals in your life and try to achieve them all. Take good food, take good sleep, enjoy your life and do your works on a regular basis. My dear friends, don't worry about these stressful situations. Don't worry about that. Just use your mind and try to handle those situations. Life offers favorable situations and unfavorable situations. Our job is to convert unfavorable into this is what each one of us should do it. And that's how we can make our life beautiful. Beautiful for us and beautiful for others. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have some questions, you can ask. Uh, I have ended my talk earlier because I want to receive more and more questions from you because the stress is something on which you know many questions are asked. Gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Thank you for such an interesting well, and engaging session. Uh, I tell you intentionally, I have ended earlier because I want to receive more and more questions. Yes, sir. I have requested my audience to post their questions. Um, but before that, uh, like I would like to say something that very important and very known facts you have told us. Like we all know this: that stay away from uh, negative people. Don't overthink do exercise, eat good food, and keep stressful people away from you, alter the situation, be motivated, manage time. Like we all know all these things, but we are not applying them in, in our day-to-day uh, -day life. And we keep on uh, pa keep piling on stress in our lives. So uh, thank you for <laughs> like acknowledging all these things to us once again. And maybe now, uh, like we'll pay some more attention to it and try to avoid stressful situations in our life and like uh, like as you told that stress does not come from outside it is within us and it is who we take it as stress and uh, the brilliant example that you gave of Arunima Sinha she climbed Everest and without or like she must have faced n number of stressful stressful situations but she came over them because she thought positive and she did not thought negative. You said this in the very beginning of your session that stress is created by negative thoughts. So the first and the uh, most important thing is that you have to stay away from negative thoughts. Right, sir? Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, one more thing is there. See, until and unless you do positive things in life, positive things are not going to come in life. When you do positive, you will see positive. Yes, sir. Uh, you so have to think start for with the, I, I, am, I always uh, tell the people that you should start your day, day with a sankal. Every morning you get up, you say some good things to yourself. And then start your life. Yes. Life for that period. We have to be kind towards ourselves to, uh, for the other people to be kind towards us. Firstly, you yes, have exactly. to be kind, kind to yourself. That is a very good thought on a Sunday morning. <laughs> like we can and, think and over loss it. And investment. I, I am stressing that again, loss and investment. One should always try to identify what loss is and what investment is. What is your opinion of combating stress with strain? Wonderful question. Wonderful question. Strain and stress. Strain is also a kind of stress. You see, if you have some physical ailment, I connected that way some physical ailment you have. Maybe you have had that. Maybe you have some pain in your leg. Right? You know that medicine is required. Medicine is always required. When you have some physical ailment, medicine is required. But tell me one thing. Can medicine alone treat your disease? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Only medicine will not help. Until and unless you cure yourself. You are also a doctor. God has made you a doctor. 
and what is your job you need to take the things positively most of the people died because of corona you know what is the reason the reason is stress they were given medicine time to time proper treatment was given and even then they surrendered why because they took the stress they took the stress i also had that attack but i enjoyed my life i felt like i am enjoying vacations <laughs> i treated that period as if i was somewhere in some hilly station enjoying my life and then medicines started working on me so this is the way to handle it yeah so uh, i hope nasreen ma'am uh, got her reply thank you mohsin so. sir for yes sir and if, if there is some counter question she can ask yes ma'am nasreen ma'am please go ahead if you have any other okay she has another question what according to you is positive stress positive stress is i let me just give you an example because example will uh, make you this thing understand better if i say i have to finish this work today itself i have to finish it anyhow i have to finish it i am taking a stress but that stress is positive you see until and unless we work we cannot gain something in life to be successful you have to keep working and when you keep working when you put efforts you have a stress by default the thing is if you are taking it positively you think like that i have to work because i have to get my dreams fulfilled then it is positive if i think like i am working but i am not receiving anything i am working but don't know whether i will get to my destination or not then it is negative stress yeah i hope uh, this must be clear to you yes sir she has thanked you emotions? thank you thank you nasin ma'am very nice questions na screen ma'am you have asked and sir uh, i would like to ask you one more Gentlemen, question you are not audible am i audible now am i audible now uh, sir am i audible now i can't hear you oh so can you hear me now sir mausam sir can you hear me now uh i can hear you well no. so with this we come to an end of our session uh with uh, mausam sir There's some problem with the audio there i hope you are hearing me sir i can hear you well and i don't see many questions coming now so with this we come to an end of our audio session thank you so much my yeah, dear sir. audience uh, work of interest you see uh, work of interest uh, you can say to some extent but i always feel like that you should make your works interesting maybe you are doing some work which is not of your taste you have to make it a work of your taste you should know how to develop interest in things because sometimes we do some works which are not of our taste we must do those works so cultivating interest is uh, what is needed there cultivating interest for the work you are doing
Yes, Nasreen ma'am. Any more questions? So, sir, I don't see many questions uh, coming. And uh, we come to an end of our session uh, with this. Thank you so much, my dear audience. And thank you, Masam, sir. Uh, wish you a lovely uh, Sunday. And take care. Thank, thank you, you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you all and may God uh, keep you away from stressful situations. <laughs> Thank you. I pray the same for each one of us. Okay. Bye, sir. Bye.